If you're watching this video, then you will want to know how to take care of your OLED screens. Yes, we know OLEDs are bright, vivid, beautiful, but those beauty comes at a cost. And today we're going to tell you and also share some experience of how you can prolong your OLED screen's lifespan. So OLED screens, we are pretty familiar with them at this point because a large majority of smartphones in the market now are using OLED screens but they are pretty rare for laptops and we are only seeing OLED laptops appearing in the market in the recent years particularly with ASUS pushing the Zenbook versions with OLED screens. So what we have for you today here is the ASUS Zenbook Pro Duo 15 OLED. It's a mouthful of a name but what we have here is a screen full of OLED goodness in 4K. It's a 15.6 inch screen with a glass on top because this is an OLED touchscreen. And I gotta say, this ASUS Zenbook Pro Duo 15 OLED's main screen has fantastic brightness and colors. We tested it with our color meter and we found out that its color accuracy is near 100% for both DCI-P3 and also sRGB. So a few months ago, we did a video where we talked about OLED screens on laptops. We also went through a brief introduction of what OLED is, its pros and cons, and you can check out that video at the top right corner there. And in that video, we highlighted a few issues. Number one, Windows having a static taskbar. And number two, Windows OS itself does not come with any OLED screen care technologies like pixel shifting. And number three, OLED degradation is not a risk, it is a certainty. And surprise, surprise, ASUS seems to have taken heed of all of those concerns. And for this laptop in particular, when we head inside the My ASUS app, we can see under the customization tab and we have new options for ASUS OLED care category. Now, we still have that specially developed screensaver to prolong the OLED's lifespan, but it did change from those little bubbly things from before and now we have color splashes instead. Okay. And the second option that we have here is pixel shifting. We talked about this in our first video about why pixel shifting is essential and essentially pixel shifting means that the image will scoot over a pixel or two just to make sure the pixels do not show the same thing for a prolonged period of time. We were sure that this pixel shifting option wasn't available in the ASUS Zenbook Flip 13 UX363 but we kind of know why because pixel shifting on 1080p screens will be much more obvious compared to 4k screens like this because the pixels on this laptop is much smaller. And back to the My Asus app, the third option that we have here is to automatically hide the taskbar. It's an obvious method to prevent burn in on the taskbar icons to your screen, but it's a rather annoying one. I mean, personally, I don't prefer my taskbars to be hidden automatically, but I think that's uh, something that you have to do if you're using an OLED screen. And other than that, the My Asus app also has this paragraph written in red. Avoid displaying static images at maximum brightness for extended periods. Otherwise, it might cause permanent burn in and damage your OLED screens. Yes, that is something that we talked about in our first video too. Brightness in OLED displays is like a double-edged sword. It can be really bright and beautiful, but it also hastens the OLED degradation process. And Another tip that we can give you here is actually to just head into the power options and set the screen timeout to be like about 2 minutes or so. I'll say 5 minutes is at its maximum that I'm comfortable with. And yeah, this also renders the ASUS OLED screensaver thing useless but whatever because that screensaver only comes in after 30 minutes. So as a summary, here are the tips that we have to share with you. Number 1. Turn on pixel shifting option in the My Asus app. This is a must have. And number two, turn on automatically hide the Windows taskbar option. It's highly recommended, but I can see why a lot of people don't want to do this. Number three, don't use your OLED at its maximum brightness for an extended period of time. Number four, set your screen timeout to something like two minutes or so. Tips number three and four are the things that I think a lot of people are already doing with OLED screens on phones, but these tips also applies to your laptop as well. So yeah, that's it. 
those are the four tips that you need to know if you're buying a screen with OLED technology. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. And we'll see you guys in the next video.